Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Last time we left off, it was time to choose our starter. So which starter am I going to choose? Well, Grookey. Come here, little buddy. The grass-type Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Absolutely. Uh, yes. I have no idea what I'm going to name him. Uh, Ismail, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll name him Crank. <coughs> Crank has been added to your party. Oh, he's so cute. So it'll be Grookey for you. Oh. So it'll be Grookey for you? Nice one. Then I'll go with Sonno. You're mine! I'll be aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Wow, Wulu is a big mon. Or Sobble's just small. I'm not sure which. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought you along. Or, that's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Doc. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me, which is never going to happen. Oh, poor Squirrel Bunny. <laughs> and you'll come with me. He takes the Squirrel Bunny? There's no way. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. All right, enough of all this trainer. Oh, sorry, that's not him. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. What are we eating? Oh my God, what are they making? Looks like sausages. Oh, that's a big kebab. That's a huge kebab. Holy moly. All right. Fletchling. Ah, oh, it's, it's only a wind thing. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even building up a bit of love? All right, I'm gonna stop you right there. You keep that kind of talk out of my Pokemon game, sir. I don't need to... I don't need to hear the Rule 34 stirring up when, just by playing a Pokemon game. Alright, we had enough of that back in Sun and Moon. Of course I have, Lee. Doc's made fast friends with her Grookey, too. Oh, I hope it's not the same way you did. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion, even though my ego is bigger than both of you. What are you looking at her for, Lee? She's only ten! I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Doc might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to her and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. I mean, 
even if you or I win, then don't we become an undefeated champion that the other can then immediately take on and win? Right? I think that's how it works. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Okay, asshole. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first-rated battle, too. Alright, you need to you need to back off there, little man. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? I uh, know. Then how about I give you a spot of advice? You don't want to get, you don't want to go getting caught, getting so caught up in things that you forget everything you've accomplished till now. Take a moment to jot down what you've done in order to save a record of your progress. Did he just tell me to save my game? No, I'll fight him without saving. Look at him, he a bitch. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them, too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon, but more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Alright. I don't care what you guys say. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Alright, but I've been playing for Pokemon for 15 years. I'm pretty sure I'm about to beat your little ass. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer? Huh? Sent out Wooloo. Does he have two Pokemon? Uh... So about that shit talking earlier, I didn't mean it. Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. I uh hey. So I didn't mean what I said earlier. <laughs> it, it was just a little bit of friendly banter, okay? You don't have to bring out two Pokemon. We can talk about this. Alright. Come on, Grookey. Oh, Okay, so I have Tackle. I think I have Growl. So I only have these two. I don't have a Grass type. Is So is Wulu going to give me level 6? And then I get my Grass type move to fight the Sobble? Is that how they've designed it? 55. Ah! Ah-ha-ha! Calling it! Branch Poke. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Oh, that's not his voice. God damn it. Okay. Hold on. So, what's this do? Base 40. Physical. Alright. Branch Poke. Poke him with it. You already know about type advantages? Yes. How did you not? If you know about type advantages, then why in the world did you pick Sobble? Or did you just not expect to be fighting me when you picked him? I suppose either is a reasonable thing. More experience. I'm level 7 already. Going on up in the world. I'm a fast little guy. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that crew here are too much. That's not his voice. God damn it. Alright, sorry. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. 
made me also want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. You would murder me. <laughs> Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? Okay, I guess he healed me. And Doc, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make him the, the both make the both of you stronger. I mean, I can, but he's my rival, which means he's gonna be a bitch the whole game. I already want to get stronger and oh, wait, this is up. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me bow now, Lee. So come on, you've gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? Look at you. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Hmm. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon and being like me. Especially your friend Doc. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Fuck off! A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Sure. Right, right, we get it. Pokédex is that. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the research lab for you and me, Doc. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokédex will mean nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better tell, go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Oh, I bet that's the Wooloo. Don't! Did you hear that just now? Oh god, he's going to be talking a lot. I shouldn't have done this voice. The gate's open. And the woo that was there. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Doc, what do you say? I don't know. Right, no one wants to get in trouble. Least of all me. But deep down, you want to save that Pokemon too, don't you? Hope you're ready for anything because we're not going in, Doc. Are you kidding me? Can I just, like, walk away? No? The slippery wheel is over this way. Let's go find that woo Oh, God. Oh, Hop. You're one of those friends that gets me into trouble all the time, aren't you? Alright, let's save. Come on, Doc. We can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. I mean, we could. We could go tell an adult and have them go instead. You know, someone who might actually know what's going on in here. But, you know, that's just my thoughts. That Wooloo, where do you think it gone off to? Probably somewhere in this woods, considering everything that's happened. The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh, this isn't timed. I don't think it is. Oh, dear. What's this? What are you? Oh my god, you're cute. Squirrel it? Oh my god, it's a tiny squirrel. I don't know what type you are. You're probably normal. I'm gonna poke your chubby little cheeks. 
kill it. Okay. Poke it again. Poke its other cheek. That is a faint hit. Let's quote. Experience! Alright, Crank. Away we go. What do you have to say? Doing alright there, Gurkey? Let's be sure you're in tip top shape. Did he heal me? There. There, now let's push on. Really? What are you? Rookie do? Rookie do. Oh my gosh. I like this. I like this tiny bird. I like round Pokemon. It's using pet. Oh, it only did a couple points. Oh, it's on, it's five levels under me. Which five is a lot at low levels. Not so much in higher levels, but... Nine experience points. I'm really rolling in it, aren't I? Let's creep along. What in the world was that sound? Did you hear that? Was Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I don't want to know. Can we go back? Alright. What are you? Oh, it's another one. It's another school bit. I feel like you're a pure normal type. Poke it with a branch. Ah, it's tackling me. That's painful. Branch poke. Ooh, the roll. Alright. So I beat it, and it looks like my moves now say whether or not they're effective. So I guess you have to beat a Pokemon once to get that information. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Let's go on. Come on now. That one might be in trouble. I mean, we could also be in trouble. Oh god, he's really just running off into this fog, isn't he? Oh, it's becoming worse. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. This is bad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. We really shouldn't have come here, man. Oh, no. Oh! Hi! What in the... That's a how. Okay. Question mark, question mark, question mark up here. Can I run? Uh, poke. No effect. Pokemon's mysterious gaze is fixed on you. Well, the move had no effect on it? Run? Can't run away for some reason? Scratch. Still no effect? Oh no. It's made it foggier. Knock! I can't see anything! You okay? Can I run? Still can't run. Gravel? Still no effect. Oh gosh, it's just making more and more fog. I can barely see Grookey now. I can't see anything! I bet the Pokemon's just gone. Grookey's gone. Oh no. I told you we shouldn't have come in here! 
This is all your fault. Although I followed you with my own free will. Hop, Doc! Oh, wait, this is Leon. Hop, Doc! here. Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came back looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We are trying to rescue that Wooloo. Aww. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And all and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least the wound's alright, yeah, Doc? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that bad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed low and stronger than any Pokemon I have ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. The moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through. Their moves pass right through it? So, the fearsome Pokemon, they say, li live in the slumbering wild. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply go out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an, oh, even if we did get an airfall from Lee, what an experience. This'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Gosh dang it, Hop. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Winterhurst now. She'll go spare it. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Not exactly sure what that means, but I will keep that in mind. Wait. Oh, they just kind of pop in. Is there two of them now? Were there two before? I don't think so. There's two now. Definitely two of them now. Grr. Hi again, Munchlax. Um, um. Alright. Where are you, Mum? Tum tum. Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the deer too hard. Dun, dun. And you, Grookey... Look after my little doc. Come home to rest any time you need. After all, east or west, home is best. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm fully healed. So I'm going to save. And then off we go. I said off we go. I don't know why I started running off to the right. Oh, please don't let Hop appear. Please. I just want to go. Oh, there he is. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Here we go. This is quite the step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train out Slumble a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. 
You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white Pokeball. Marked on in front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright. So I feel like we're likely going to have to battle him again. Alright, I'm going to kind of avoid Pokemon going this way as I approach. Oh, cool! When it, whenever I get a new item, it pops up telling me what the item does. That was a paralyzed heal. It looks like I got two of them. Alright, poke your face. We gotta poke those cheeks. Those chubby little cheeks. I'm probably not gonna use the Squovet on my team. Thinking about it, I might use the bird. I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm definitely going to catch both of them. But I haven't decided if I'm going to use either of them. Yep. Crank gets a level! A late. Ooh, I get taunt. Taunt's good. I like taunt. Not so good in the playthrough, but... Charizard! The ultimate Charizard! Roar. The champion's here! Roar. I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab. On the opposite side is the station. So, you've now become a living sign, huh? Leon! Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Grrr. Oh, Charizard, you big lug. Oh, I like this lab. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Mama. Is that a Yamper? It is a Yamper. Oh, he's such a cute little corgi looking thing. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokemon? I wish you'd talk with these outlandish requests. Ooh, she's sassy. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Doc. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? Look at the little Yamper. Oh, it's so cute. I like her, though. What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. <laughs> Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so. Oh, sorry. So. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. 
well set. In that case, I'll make it so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Pokedex! So, just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift for my Gran. Did you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along at Route 2. Sure. So she just gives it to me. Nice! <laughs> hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Potion. <laughs> Put the potion in the medicine bag. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points, gets low. HP is a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. That was really random, but I do appreciate the potion. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. All right. All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. Still signpost guy? Yep. Living signpost it is. That's your job, apparently. Chit chit. Oh ma'am. That rather grand building beside us is a Pokemon research lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down the far end of Route 2. Okay. That's just a simple kitchen. Nothing particularly impressive. I do like this kitchen. This kitchen is nice, it's compact. I don't have to worry about anything. The only thing that's really missing is a microwave. If you want a microwave, you don't need a microwave. Anyway. Away I go. This is the station. Okay, so there is a transition into the station. Train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. This is their way of preventing you from getting on when they don't want you to. The world you see out the window of a train, it never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Don't know, haven't seen it yet. Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Here to buy. Uh, ooh, you can buy revives right off the bat. I got uh, so much money. Why? <laughs> Why do I have so much money? I just realized I have 30,000. What do you girls say? I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence. I recognized him before he even got close. The Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Oh, it's a couple fangirls. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up. But I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Hmm. Oh, it's hot. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the world can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, not that you've never been inside one. Oh, no. He's going to give me the Pokemon Center score. I'm going to have to read all of it in his voice. Oh, no. Level with me, not. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. You're just going to let me skip? Yes! If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I had a route, too, Doc. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Oh, my God. I just got to skip it. What are you? <laughs> I just noticed. 
Uh, well, come back anytime. All right. You'll have the Pokemon Center. Hope to see you again. Pokemon. So thankful for Pokemon Centers. The fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free. I healed at the Pokemon Center just in case I faint later. Hee hee hee! This month's birthday horoscope is spawn off. Oh dear. Hmm. You want me to tell you your, your fortune too? Not yet. But maybe in episode three, because we are ending this episode here. And next episode, we'll talk to her, get our fortune, and then we shall go and see Magnolia. Bye.